What's up y'all? Welcome back. Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets where we talk about all things pet and pet related. It has been forever since I've made a video or at least it feels like it's been forever. Moving was insane. So it actually was just me and my daughter trying to pack and get everything ready. So pack it with a five-year-old, super fun times. Don't actually recommend it to anyone ever. So my husband had gotten a new job out in Texas, which is great because it is so good. It is so good, you guys, to be back in Texas and out of California. No offense to those of you who love California, it's just not really for me. There's a lot of regulations and a lot of restrictions on some of the things that you can do and some of the things that you can have, and several of the animals that I've really, really wanted to get, well, they're illegal to purchase in California. So I am super, super glad that we did move back to Texas because I grew up here and I love it here and this is what I'm used to. And I really, really have been homesick for many, many years. Moving was actually a serious nightmare though. And luckily I've got my nice cup of peppermint mocha coffee. Thank you, Seisha. But yeah, moving was an absolute nightmare. Getting everything packed, getting everything ready to go. I thought I could be superwoman and do it all and work and help my kid and pack everything and make videos and I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. I am not superwoman and I cannot do it all as much as I wanted to. So with moving for starters, the truck was not big enough for all of our stuff to be able to fit in it. So I ended up losing a fair amount of furniture and on top of that, a couple of my fish tanks did not make it either. Luckily, my good friend Bethany over there was willing to hang on to my community fish until I am able to get a tank over here set up and ready to go for them. Then she's going to go ahead and ship them out to me. Now I did get most of my other fish out here, my butterfish and my killifish and my African dwarf frogs. Unfortunately, my pair of gardener eye killifish did not make it on the journey and neither did my tree frogs. I think all the, just all the bouncing around in the car and everything, I think it was just too, too stressful for them to be able to make it. But luckily for me, almost everybody did make it. Unfortunately, a couple of the bettas do have some fin rot, probably from sitting in those bags in the car for a little bit too long, sitting in some ammonia and everything. Even though I tried to keep their water clean and everything for the trip, I mean, you can only you can only really do so much. Plus, it's a really stressful trip. I mean, it's 30 hours and that's probably lowballing it. I think it actually took us a little bit longer than that. To get here but you know over a 30 hour trip in a car bouncing around that's that's a stressful situation to put some of these animals under but luckily my pac-man frogs and my crested gecko made it totally fine and my killifish though my other gardener I killifish his tail is a little bit kind of crooked now but I it seems to be straightening out now that he's back in a tank so I'm hoping that maybe in a few more days it'll be straight again. I'm not sure really if that's gonna happen or not, but I mean, being kind of cooped up in that little bag in a cooler for several days, that's also gonna be a little bit wearing and stressful on their bodies, but he's eating great and he's swimming all over the tank. So hopefully a few more days and maybe his tail will straighten back out all the way. If not, then I guess, uh, I guess I have a crooked tail killifish. He is about five years old now and he is my favorite. So I'm really glad that he made it and he seems at least happy if nothing else. But like I said, it's really good to be back in Texas. We're pretty much almost done with setting up the inside of the house. I have a ton, a ton of future plans for what I wanna do. Uh, there are a few animals that I've been foaming at the mouth to be able to get, but I could not get them because I was living in California and now that I'm in Texas, I can have them. And of course, when spring comes around, I really want to put in a 
bog garden style pond out in the backyard. I'm hoping that I can make one big enough to be able to put some goldfish in there, but we will see what ends up happening. So lots of big plans, lots of things that are gonna be going on over the next several months, and I am very excited, very excited for everything that is coming, and I'm really happy to be in my own house in Texas. It's just so much more quiet out here, y'all. So much quieter. I also did order a bunch of supplies from Josh's Frogs to restart my bioactive tanks. I do still have my culture of springtails. That made it here too. And I am going to be starting an isopod culture from the isopods that I have ordered from Josh's Frogs as well. Lots of things going on. I'm super excited to be back. I have missed you guys. I love you guys out there. There is gonna be a lot, a lot of good things to come, I think. I'm also trying to decide on what type of tanks that I wanna get because I do wanna get an axolotl and I need another community tank since I lost the ones that I had. So I'm excited. Um, I'm not sure exactly what sizes of tanks I'm gonna be getting. I really wanna get some big tanks, but there's only so much space for so many tanks, so I have to be sort of sort of reasonable since I want multiple types of things and multiple types of tanks. I can only get so many. I got a bad case of MTS over here. Bad case of MTS. So anyway, y'all, that's all I really have for you guys today, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!